This website tells the story of an extraordinary 2009 campaign that got floating voters who live in marginal seats to demand a transfer of power from politicians to people through the introduction of the Swiss system of direct democracy and a series of legal mistakes that stopped the campaign going ahead. These mistakes led to a cover-up that went to the heart of the criminal justice system. The stars of the story are David Cameron and Keir Starmer. David Cameron is involved because in 2009 he agreed to the demand. The right to initiate local and national referenda. He's promising to transfer sovereignty, real power, from Parliament to people. Keir Starmer is part of it because he was head of the Crown Prosecution Service when the mistakes were being made. An email to Eric Pickles, Conservative Party Chairman in February 2010, from me, Graham MacArthur, the founder of the campaign, also led to the introduction of the parliamentary petition system. The introduction of CFD systems would have allowed us to hold referendums on our relationship with the EU. That would have made UKIP unnecessary, and given the Conservatives the extra 2-3% to of votes they needed to win the 2010 election. Watch the video below for that story. Mistakes made by people in the criminal justice system led to me being involved in miscarriages of justice and wrongful imprisonments. That stopped the campaign going ahead. Once people in the criminal justice system realised just how badly things had gone wrong, attempts were made to cover up the mistakes. Keir Starmer has been told about the CPS's failures, failures that happened on his watch, but has done nothing about them. In the criminal justice system, everything is done in writing. All the documents that prove my claims are true can be seen on this website. If you're a journalist, you've just stumbled across the story of the century. So grab yourself a coffee, sit back and enjoy what you see.